The U.S. is seeing progress in its fight against COVID-19. The seven-day average of new daily cases has plummeted to about 100,000, down from 250,000 in January. But the Delta variant threatens to hurt our progress. Public health officials blame that strain for a surge in recent cases across the country. They also say areas where people remain hesitant to take the vaccine could see localized surges of coronavirus infection. Here in Georgia, 37 percent of the population is considered fully vaccinated. Now, U.S. officials say we could begin vaccinating younger children as soon as this fall and winter once pediatric vaccine trials have wrapped up. Across the U.S., kids are rolling up their sleeves for test vaccines as part of those studies. Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin spoke with the mother of one of Georgia's youngest volunteers. There is no COVID-19 vaccine that's approved for children 11 and younger, but a three-year-old East Atlanta girl is helping to test one. Three-year-old Astrid Pearson didn't seem to be sweating her first shot appointment at the Emory Vaccine Research Center Wednesday. I explained to her what was going to happen, that there was going to be a blood draw, and she was going to get her nose tickled, and she was going to get a shot, but it's a very special shot. Because Astrid is helping to test the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine in children, ease through the process with some juice, her mom's cell phone, and rewards from the research team. They were like, all right, after this blood draw, we have a treasure box, and then you can get a sticker at this point and another sticker around here. Astrid, who's from Ormwood Park, is in the three to five year old age volunteer group, one of about 4,600 children trial organizers are hoping to enroll across the U.S. This is a dosing trial to figure out which vaccine dose is safest for younger children and whether that dose can produce the appropriate immune response in children from six months to 11. Her mom, Dre Pearson, volunteered in another vaccine trial. And at the end of the day, I feel confident in the process. Uh, to the point that I'm willing to have my daughter also participate in a trial. Pearson says she's heard reports that younger children typically don't get very sick if they get sick at all with COVID-19, and some parents are questioning whether vaccinating children is even necessary. For me, I would rather get my child vaccinated than gamble on what an infection could do to them. For now, Pearson says she's keeping an electronic diary of Astrid's symptoms. This morning, I was asking her about her arm, and she goes, feels fine feels fine and then I kind of poke it and she goes but she says Astrid doesn't seem phased by any of this she was really taken with the bandage that she got from her blood draw and so she was showing it off to everyone all day yesterday she refused to take it off she said I got a special bandage because I got a special shot the Pearsons won't know for another six months whether Astrid received the COVID-19 vaccine or a placebo. She'll get her second shot in three weeks, and then all of the trial participants are guaranteed to get the vaccine by the end of the study. For your Fox Medical team, I'm Beth Galvin.